a steward has made a lot of money through this. Their employees are going to have liquidity. I think it's a win-win-win for everyone. Um, and and you're right. They it's still they still have the ability to raise more capital as a public company. Tell you which one SoftBank likes better, that, this or Uber? Ask them on that. What was the last price they paid on Uber? It was well above what they eventually traded at. Oh, and they're still largely locked up because they were supposed to sell in a green shoe, which never happened. So they're still locked up for another so five we, months. We have a couple big ones coming up on the docket, right? So there's going to be, I mean, the two big biggies will be WeWork and probably Airbnb. I don't know if that's going to happen this, this calendar year. You got Peloton coming. Mm -hmm. You got Postmates coming. Real Real next week. You got Real Real next week. How do you look at all of those relative to each other? Well, I'm not going to comment on those because uh, we have interest in, in some of those. Uh, but I think in general, this success will, uh, I think, be a real win in the column of direct listings. And it wouldn't surprise me if more people look at that stuff. I think the deciding factor, though, is this element of do you need to raise capital or not. It achieves liquidity, doesn't achieve the raising capital. Now, 15 years ago, Google went public using a Dutch auction method, which isn't too dissimilar from the direct listings method. What do you think they're improving upon now? What have we learned from, you know, Google's Dutch auction that a lot of people, you know, no one replicated it after, after Google used it, uh, that the direct listing model seems to be working and seems to be a lot more, people have more confidence in that model. Yeah, the Dutch, Dutch auction is where you run a process and you take the second highest bid and everyone clears at that. Um, so there's just the mechanics of it. Um, <clears throat> I think the, the bidding mechanism that, that they're using now just to create a market sort of, and then it starts trading, so that first block is enormous. Um, it's just, it's a more efficient way of doing it, apparently. And, the, and it seems like the market is... Uh, working well, you know, small rise in, in overall shares throughout the day. What about the idea of all the fees that ultimately get saved? You People talk about, I mean, you asked Stuart that. He said that's not a deciding factor for us. And they, by the way, spent 20, if you look in the filings, they did spend $22 million. Mm -hmm. so it's not nothing. Right. But the question is what the price tag would have ultimately been had they, had they gone through I mean, people focus about, about the cost of it. The, the cost is substantial, but it's also just the time. I mean, you're right. doing... IPO prep two years out, and there's a lot of regulatory over, overhead. So it's, it's time and money, and you're not saving any more time. You still have all the right. regulatory and, and accounting work to do. So I don't think that's a, a big factor. In okay, that. so my big question for you finally right now is this. These enterprise companies have done fabulously. The consumer companies, specifically Uber and Lyft, have done less fabulously. Is, it, is there any possibility that the market's got this wrong? that actually the enterprise guys are now completely overvalued and the consumer guys are undervalued. Well, I was joking with the head of M&A from a large, uh, one of the top uh, software companies, and he made the same comment like, hey, all these like, you know, smaller cap uh, enterprise software businesses are trading really well. And I said, that's because you keep buying them all. <laughs> and he sort of laughed. He's like, yeah, you're right. I never thought about that. Uh, but it's true. All of these kinds of companies, uh, all of these companies get get swallowed up. You know, we just uh, saw uh, Salesforce bought Tableau. Right. They bought one of ours, Map Anything. Um, so it was Salesforce so, you were talking to. No, no, no it was someone else. <laughs> uh, so you know, it's it's a uh, all these companies. They go public. They're capital efficient. They're growing nicely. They've got great teams. Some of them will grow into be enormous companies but a lot of them will get swallowed up by the, by the bigger guys.